right, going to the range. Uh, I'm not bringing Gia. And uh, there's my range bag. There's a box. There's a package there. Somebody ordered a shirt. Get ready to ship that out. And Lucy's on the couch again. Lucy, what are you on the couch for? I give up. That couch is yours now. That couch now, it's all fucked up. That's like, that's like their couch. So, when we get a new couch, uh, we'll just push that back and then they can just use that as their doggy bed. Because I ain't sitting on that nasty thing. She's, everyone wanted to see the dogs again. I told Paul from Humans for Targets because he's got, he's got a pit too. He wanted to see my dogs again, so I figured I'd give it a nice video of them. We're going to the range, and before I go to the range, especially uh, when you're testing a gun out with, with a different barrel and different ammunition, what you want to do is, what I do is, <clears throat> take the slide off. Where you go? Yo! Take the slide off and uh, don't go down there. No. Just oil everything up just very, very lightly. Uh, you know, make sure everything's moving, all the parts are uh, lubricated. Because you want to rule that out. And then uh, that's what I do. And that's what I just got done with it to the Glock 23 and the SIG. So let's go see what they can do. Alright, I'll see you later. What's that? Good round. It's a what good the round. Told me four two to four three. Yeah. Uh, the guy who made this gun. You yeah. said it like four two to four three. That's a plastic load. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to be in a video? I'm shooting down. It's just a lot lighter. Subscriber. Hey He's a subscriber. The, the will show You'll be in the video. <laughs> up the powder a little bit. I don't know why. Shit! I forgot if there was five or six. Uh oh, I'm gonna get. You got a lighter spring in it. So you got less recoil. Oh yeah. I'm gonna shoot it later on. You're welcome to try it. Let's see what's right. Yeah. Ammo's running good, man. That's unbelievable. Yeah, but 
the, 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 the black is the same. The black is the same. Well, they weren't lying. 357 SIG no. is extremely accurate. Look at that. And I'm just some... That's a nine here. Alright, let's get the Glock out. Glock 23, so far so good. Fire what you have in your weapon. To make your weapon clear. You know what I did? There was there was none. Glock shooting good. In here. So the Glock shooting good. I would. Uh, what's your name? Yes, sir. First name. I'm not yet a subscriber, but I'm... Okay. But I was I, just going to call him Z. Yeah. <laughs> my man Z's here, and he, he watches my sorry-ass channel. <laughs> and uh, when we switched over to the Glock, the uh, it was all over the place because it's a completely different trigger. But now, getting used to the trigger, and we're starting to put one hole in the center. And uh, it's doing good. So far, so good. With all the aftermarket parts in there, it's running very nice. All right. See you guys in a minute. All right, Glock 23. Did real good with all the aftermarket parts. That's a pretty good target. All right, that's it. All good. No defects. Both. All right, back from the range, and uh, it's a good report. I am so happy. You have no idea because I was worrying, worrying, worrying about that. Uh, you know, because I made a lot of changes to these two guns. Uh, we put a different barrel in the Sig. We put all kinds of aftermarket Glock parts in the Glock, and uh, you never know what can happen. It could, it could trigger something stupid, you know. It's it happens all the time. So uh, they both shot really well, I have to say. And let me uh, make this clear: 
Uh, you do not need a different recoil spring when you put a new barrel in the Sig Sauer P226. You do not need a different recoil spring when you're putting in, when you're going from 40 caliber to .357 Sig, you do not repeat, have to change the recoil spring. Okay? Uh, I got that right from Sig's mouth, and I just did it physically and experienced it. You do not have to do that. So, it's a pretty cool, easy change. You just need the barrel, and that's it. You're ready to rock and roll. I put um, right about 70 rounds to the Sig. You know, I didn't put all 100 because I want to hold on to some ammo right now because th that ammo is not in every gun store. You know what I mean? So, I put between 60 and 70 rounds to the Sig, and uh, it did phenomenal. Okay? Let's see. Like, once again, guys, I don't shoot, you know what I mean? When I start getting, uh, I'm going to start shooting more than I'm back at my range now. Remember, you got to do the five rounds at a time at this range. You're not allowed to load your magazine up. So there's the uh, SIG target at about 40 feet, something like that, okay? And that's a pretty good target for not shooting, okay? Uh... Do I notice a difference with the 357 ammo over the 40? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, I never shoot, and uh, we got one nice tight group there. We got uh, a 60 round group. All 60 rounds went through there. We have one flyer here. But this whole group, that's all 60 rounds. So that just goes to show you how accurate the SIG P226 is. And then on top of that, with high performance ammunition like. 357 sig and do we do you feel I feel a difference in recoil yes but it's more uh, the 40 kind of flips the gun up more uh, this has the same amount of recoil but it don't have that flip uh, it feels just like what it is it feels like a nine millimeter but with a little more power so it's re the, the recoil is extremely manageable it's really great you can really control your shooting now, if I shoot more, this is this is me shooting coldly, you know, uh, I'm just going to get better, and uh, that SIG 226, that round is also awesome. No feeding issues, no problems, uh, no anything. It's just zero defects, everything perfect, perfect, perfect. And as you notice, this SIG's a heavy pistol, and uh, it did so good, and I'm really happy that the barrel's okay. Uh, we're leaving this barrel black, I'm just not touching it. Um, we need to clean this. Alright, so I'll put that aside. Now, the Glock 23. When you go from a Sig Sauer short reset trigger, that's what this is. When you go to a, a Sig Sauer short reset trigger, and then you go to a Glock trigger, it's like, you know, getting out of a Cadillac and, and, uh, and hopping on a horse. Not that this is worse or this is better. It's so different. It's so, I mean, it's ridiculous. You're you are uh, drastically changing gears. So, but once I st once I got about tw 10 to 20 rounds off, I got to feel the trigger again of the Glock trigger, and with my three three and a half pound connector, this thing shot like a champ. Uh, now this now has a hundred rounds through it. There's been not one jam, no feeding issues, no stove piping, nothing, and we did a lot to this gun. We put the extended takedown tabs in there. Uh, you know, you know what I did to it. I put a, a three-pound connector tri uh, trigger in there, so it's got a lighter trigger, and you you're definitely can shoot better with a lighter trigger. Uh, I do, and I put the extended slide release here, slide stop release that is, and uh, uh, I'm leaving the recoil spring rod. I'm going to leave it leave it alone. I'm not putting a metal one in this time, and I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Now I'm going to go to Glockmeister because they have the butt plug that I like. It's the one that has the button on it and it pops in the hole. Um, the other place I got it from, I didn't like that. It had a screw. That That's just, I don't know why the hell. But this also needs to be cleaned now. And I'm going to show you the target with this one, okay? Okay. Now. Here's the Glock 23 target. I switched gears, started shooting with the Glock trigger. This is not my hole. This is some other guy's target. I stuck mine on top of it. So I'm all in the black. Uh, I was up here, you know, 
first 10 rounds and I started getting used to the trigger, spun down, spun down into one big hole. And uh, that's all 50 rounds uh, in the black and in the center. So the Glock 23 is pretty amazing. For the kind of gun it is, it's really unbelievable. Okay, right on target, no problems. Awesome. All right, let's not make this too long of a video. It's just a range video. Got to clean these bad boys up, and these are ready for uh, home protection and everything else. See you guys.